hello dear learners today in this video we are going to talk about the bacterial spores bacterial spores we are covering few of the topics in the part 1 and the topics are like what are spores what are bacterial spores then what are their characteristics then what are the things which confers resistance to the bacterial spore and the types of spore how many types of spores are there so to start with the first topic that is what is bacterial spore the bacterial spore as you can see the word spore the organisms having spore are known as spora and the word spora means seed or sowing that means when they will scatter on the earth spores keep the capacity to germinate and produce a vegetative cell through the process of sporulation that means each bacterial spore when germinate forms a single vegetative cell and this sporulation process is known as the method of preservation and not reproduction that means this is ap the application of this char characteristic or this characteristic is utilized for the preservation of the bacteria and these bacterial spore structures are nothing but they are produced under unfavorable condition that means under the limited supply of nutrients and water bacteria will produce a uh, special cells special resting body cells which are called as endospores so this endospores they have the capacity to survive for extended period of time in unfavorable condition that means limited supply of nutrients as well as water so they can survive in limited supply of nutrients so spores are a reproductive cell only but they are capable of uh, developing into a new cell but without sexual reproduction that means they don't undergo any fusion with another reproductive cell to produce a new individual cell so these are the agents of asexual reproduction but whereas the gametes as you all know these are the agents of sexual reproduction so spores are nothing but the agents of asexual reproduction that means without undergoing any fusion with the reproductive cell they will produce a new individual then spores can be produced by bacteria fungi algae and plants so when bacterial species will produce spore they are known as bacterial spores now coming towards some of the species which produce spores the species are like as you can see bacillus anthracis bacillus subtilis clostridium titani clostridium botulinum then few of the species of like sporosarcina streptomyces thermoactinomyces actinopolyspora etc so these are few of the examples of bacterial species which produce spores now coming towards the characteristics the characteristics of spores are these are the dormant tough and non reproductive structures they are thick walled they are comparatively resistant dormant and they are tough due to the presence of thick wall membrane or thick walled cell wall like they are highly refractive bodies that means they have the capacity of light transmission they can survive without nutrients and they are produced one per cell survive without nutrient means uh, in definition only we have seen or the meaning only we have seen that they are produced only under the limited supply of nutrients and water so they have the capacity to survive without nutrients also then coming towards the resistance part they are comparatively very much resistant structures like if you will start from the first they are resistant to uv radiations also they are resistant to desiccation also they are resistant to the drying process they are resistant to high temperature also that means these all processes like uv radiations Uh, desiccation or higher temperatures extreme freezing chemical disinfectants all these parameters which you can see these parameters you very well know they are capable of destroying normal vegetative cells 
but spores are comparatively resistant towards all of them that means they cannot be easily destroyed either by ultraviolet radiation either by drying process that is desiccation either by high temperature either by extreme freezing or they will not get affected by any of the chemical disinfectant which is used for either killing or preventing the growth of the microorganisms some common antibacterial agents that work by destroying vegetative cell walls such as beta lactam antibiotics you very well know penicillins uh, they act by destruction of cell wall but they will also not have any effect on the endospores so you can imagine how much resistant structures they are only way is to autoclave them so endospores are commonly found they exist in soil and water and where they may survive for long period of time by survive so when they survive in soil and water on dormancy like on favorable means when they get a chance to expose like endospores or any exospores when they get detached each bacterial cell when it will go into the soil they will germinate and form a single vegetative cell on germination through the process of sporulation next coming towards the next part that is types of spores there are basically two types of spores that is endospores and exospores endospores as you can see some bacterial species producing the spore inside the cell are known as endospores and exospores as the word suggest exo outside the body so our bacterial species producing spores outside the cell are exospores so you can see here diagrammatically this is the sporangiospore and this is the conidiospore as you can see these structures you can very well see in sporangiospore's case uh, this is a bag like structure or sac like structure you can call which is known as sporangium and spores are produced inside the sporangium so these are the spores you can see when this sporangium will break the spores will be released and they will further germinate when they come to the soil or upon germination they will produce the vegetative cell this conidiospores again these also when fall when fall on soil they will germinate and again they will produce a vegetative cell through sporulation so this is a conidiophore on which this conidiospores are present and since these are the external structures these are known as exospores and since these are the internal structure they are bound within the sac like structure or bag like structure so they are endospores so these are the two basic forms of spores endospores and exospores with this we finish with few introductory portion to the spores thank you and stay tuned for the next part of bacterial spores wherein we are going to see the characteristics uh, part ahead and the structure of endospore and the basic difference between the vegetative cell and the bacterial spore